Workwayman, Workwayman, does what a Workwayman can. Can he make a comic feed? Yes, he can. He just did. Watch now a video from Greyman. A video from Greyman. Great Maniacs Gather! Hi everybody, I'm still around Lisa's. I'm going to my dad's this week. I thought I'd sh uh, do a couple of videos showing you what I got at the Mart. First up, I got some, I got some, uh, what do you call it, some grab bags. Uh, these are for ones, these are for me to sell on, to be honest. Um, so hopefully there's some stuff in here that people will be interested in buying. Uh, yeah, and sort of get back some of the money that I've spent out on comic books. It won't. It won't. Uh, <laughs> it won't cover the full cost of what I spent out on coin books, of course. Um, but you know, it's nice to give it a bash. There's some weird odd bits in here, isn't there? I have no idea if anyone would be interested in any of these. But you know, it's worth a try. The, the, the bags don't cost much. There's a pound pound for five comics. So I've only got to sell one for, for a quid, <laughs> and it's paid for itself. I'm sure I'll be able to spill at least one from each bag. Uh, yeah, so, but yeah, you, pff, it's quite, it's pretty quiet trying to sell comics at the moment actually, I'm not really getting much luck, keep posting up, I'm not really getting many takers to be honest, uh, but yeah, that's life, that's life, nothing amazing in here, this is interesting, worms, worms, uh, kitty pride, I don't know the other guy it is. Wisdom. Any wisdom I know is normal wisdom, the old uh, British comedy guy. <laughs> Mr. Grimsdale! Yeah, if you don't know, that would make no sense. Right. Ugh. That's Green Arrow uh, annual. That's got to be worth a couple of quid to someone. Oh, Sam Slade Robo Hunter. From 2000 AD, it's a great story that is. If you don't know Sam Slade, well worth checking out. <laughs> uh, Dragon Star, the origins of Marek and Chandra, Matrix graphics series. I'm guessing it's a, it might be a Canadian company because the Canadian price is higher on the, uh, I don't know, printed in Canada anyway. Maybe it's a Canadian company. Um, Mind the gap. Oh, mind the gap. Mind the gap, as the automated voice says at um, Bank Station in London. I wonder if that's <laughs> surely, surely that's not what it's based on. Bank Bank Train Station, Underground Station. Mind the gap. Mind the gap. I don't think so. Well, that is quite a well-known thing. Uh, Marvel Spotlight: Secret Invasion Aftermath. Yes, this is going. This is a sort of source book, I suppose, letting you know who's died and so forth. Book of Revelations. Uh -huh. Letting you know who was really a, a, a scroll all that time. Oh my gosh! Apparently, Jarvis was secretly a scroll. Oh no! Right. I'll show you what I picked up for myself in, an, in another video. Right, Catwoman. It's got to be worth too good to someone that has. Dark Hawk. Eh, you never know. Rogue Trooper, another 2000 AD comic. Great stories if you uh, ever get a chance to pick them up. Stormwatch, post human division. And Ant, number 10. <laughs> Ant. I know Matilda likes a bit of Ant action. I think she's got number one. Well, this one's got a couple of comic books that I could see possibly selling to my mate. It's Valor number one. Hawkman 10. Hey, uh... Not that you watch many videos anyway, Simon, you lazy bastard. But here's a Sheena. <laughs> uh, 
he's a busy man. Right, Rivers of London, making so many bloody videos, I'm not surprised. Talking of videos, his last video was uh, 10 vehicles, and I got a nice car on that one, look. That's cool, isn't it? Nice car. Uh, and now, uh, yeah, Legion 007, it's the annual for that week, done in the style of uh, Elseworld style, they're, they're all sort of secret agents kind of thing. You can see Lobo there as a James Bond type. Crazy stuff. Right, still two more bags to go. So for seven quid, I get 35 comics. If I was able to sell them for two pound each, that'd be 70 quid. So it's good profit, but you know, you're not gonna sell them all. If you, you know, just have, as long as I get at least a seven quid back for them, it's not a loss, you know what I mean? But yeah, I think a lot of them, a lot of me, I mean, I don't, you wouldn't sell them for two quid each anyway because a lot of them are rubbish and it'd be like pound jobs, 50p jobs. Oh, yeah, Mr. E, I was talking about Mr. E recently. Look, there he is trying to kill um, Timothy Hunter. In his I think that's what he's trying to do. Book four of four. Yeah, the uh, trouble is the, the interior art's all a bit blinking, confusing. Got a bit of Dr. Fate there. In fact, about six pages in. I've not even seen Mr. E yet. That was a weird one. Yeah, there he is, look. His eyeballs scooped out, Mr. E. Hmm. I think he went mad. That was the idea. Right. There you go. That's the last one in that but little bag. Last one. This first comic, I was like, never heard of it. But I thought, it's a special. It's a complete story. Who knows? Someone might be interested in it. An all-new epic saga by Gil Kane and Jan Strunad. Strunad? It's Talos of the Wilderness Sea. <laughs> Who? <laughs> I don't know. Talos. Yeah, it's Talos of the Wilderness Sea. That's all you need to know. Uh, nice cowboy one here for uh, Sly, Ranger Sly. Eclipse Monthly featuring Rio plus the Masked Man. He's got himself a horsey. <laughs> He's got himself a giddy up horsey there. Uh, uh, X Men Book of Sun description. Hmm. Previously in Civil War X-Men. Yeah. No one cares. <laughs> oh, I know. I don't care. Right, a 52 on DC. And a last one, Spectacular Spider-Man. Uh, a 90s one by the looks of it, because the art is shite. Um, maybe even later than 90s. No, it is 90s. 96, yeah. Yes, you can tell you can tell Marvel at this year. This is why I stopped reading Marvel. I don't know, it's just something about I don't know if it's the colour or the way the colour was done or the paper. But to me, the art just doesn't do it for me like it used to. But anyway, that's it. That's seven little mini bags uh, that I will see if I can sell to get some money back for all the comics that I bought and you know save up for future comics. I nearly was that close to picking up um, the first uh, Poison Ivy. Someone was selling it for 200 quid, and I thought, oh, that's not a bad price. But it's got no poster, and the poster affects the story. The first page of the second story is missing if the poster is not there. So it's like, mm, oh, I'm better off saving money, really. I'm, I've spent enough money this week. <laughs> I've got stuff on the way, and I've, yeah. But anyway, if I can sell a few comics, fingers crossed, I can, you know get some more other lovely comics in the future. I missed out on a bloody well bidding for a um, the first Jason Todd as well. I put a fit maximum bid of 50 quid in and someone coming at the last minute and put 51. I was going to go back in and, bet, and do another bid as well. I forgot. I'm always doing that. I'm always, I know, so that's less than mine. It's, it's, not, it's not a Jason Todd missed. It's 50 quid saved. <laughs> Let's put it like that. Right. Yeah, that's it for this video. Um, yeah. Well, yeah. Oh, no. I'll tell you that story when I do the... Uh, and I'll show you what I've got at the con, the, the Mart rather, the London Comic Mart. Anyway, cheers for watching this. Uh, if you want any of them comic books, yeah, drop me a line. <laughs> if there's by some mad chance you fancy getting some of the comics off me, do let me know. Um, 
trades even. Have you got anything that I want? I'm, I mean, I'm quite happy to do trades because it's all going to go into comic books anyway, you know what I mean? But anyway, but I don't suppose anyone will be any of that crap that I just showed. <laughs> so anyway, till next time, have a great, amazing day and may all your news be good news. Pants on. Have a great amazing day. I'll oh, have a great amazing day. Have a great amazing day. I hope you have a great amazing day.